when I came up with the topic about, um, sorry about the double word, when I came up with the topic about bacon, the World Health Organization had put out a, a report telling us that a lot of the foods we have been eating, the processed foods specifically, were bad for us. And I wanted to do something fun and something a little glib. But instead, I decided to take a look at what the World, Organi World Health Organization was really saying. So instead of doing something funny and glib, I'd like to get down to the serious parts of what they were saying. And I never realized how much things had changed since the nostalgic days of my, of my youth when we had unprocessed foods, when, we had, when organic was just simply a way of life. When I was five years old, I remember getting fresh apples that did not have pesticides, didn't have any additives in the food. We cooked our own, we did our own, we always did. Now it's almost impossible to find foods that aren't loaded up with sugar, that aren't loaded up with nitrates. Bacon, sadly, is a good example. Delicious as it is, it's full of nitrates. You put that stuff in your body, you're adding a poison to your body. Unfortunately, it's true. Not only because of bacon itself, but what's been added to the animal. Because that animal is stuck in a little cage, lives its life very sedentary, and fed a lot of chemicals just to get bigger. It's fed the steroids. It's fed things that are really, really killing it. Just trying to make it big. I also wanted to address issues like diabetes. When I saw this statistic, it shocked me. There are 300, as of 2012, there, are, there were 350 million diabetics in the world. One-tenth of those are type 1 diabetics. Now, for those who don't know this, uh, a type 1 diabetic uses insulin as an injection because the body simply cannot process sugar. The body would shut down, and I've seen people go into diabetic shock as a result. The other 90% are type 2 diabetics, and type 2 diabetics are, are diabetic because of what they eat, and how badly they eat, and how little they move. And there are people here that are that in this room that know full well that a good meal and a lot of exercise as personal <laughs> trainers, it's the best thing you can possibly do for yourself. But some of us, well, myself included, are not in that category. And I have been a type 2 diabetic. What I didn't realize was how much sugar was being put into my food. A good example would be Greek yogurt. The majority of it, despite of what you think when they say non-fat, it's always loaded up with sugar. I'm taking a look at other items um, that the author, the manufacturers manipulate the data on because they don't call it sugar. They call it dextrose. They call it high fructose corn syrup. They call it a variety of, of things, but no matter what you say, it's sugar. And sugar gives the body no nutrition. It just causes you to get bigger and more lethargic and screws up your thinking processes completely. It's just the way it is. Um, and now these manufacturers are also putting labels, healthy labels, on items that are it's ridiculous to say that they're healthy. Now, I apologize for my notes, but there's the obvious things like donuts and pastries and chips and pizzas. Not only do you have sugar, but you've got the natural starches, plus the frying process causes you, uh, will put carcinogens in your body. Um, something you didn't think about, quick, Quaker oatmeal. A Quaker oatmeal <coughs> cinnamon bar which is supposed to be a health bar, has 18 grams of sugar. There's less sugar in some chocolate bars. That's true. There's less sugar in some chocolate bars. You take a look at things like Nutri-Grain. Well, that's hardly green, nutritious. nutritious. It is 12 grams of sugar. Um, ketchup. Well, now ketchup's an interesting thing because back in 1975, President Reagan had called ketchup a vegetable. Okay, go with me on this. He called it a vegetable. 
ketchup, two tablespoons of sugar, six, two, two tablespoons has 16 grams of sugar. That's appalling. We're putting all these very, very unhealthy foods into our body. It's what we've been doing for a long time and we bought into the game. Um, Gatorade. Snapple antioxidant. I'll talk about Gatorade in a second. Snapple antioxidant water. You think it's water. It's going to be good for you. A 20 ounce bottle has 32 grams of sugar. That can put a diabetic, a type 1 diabetic, into a coma. It is ridiculous what's been happening with our food and how we have simply lost sight of how important it is to regulate what we eat. But beyond sugar, let's take a look at other things, like the way we cook. We, we are told, how many people use sunflower oil in their food? Something When you eat it at regular temperature, it's healthy for you. When it's taken to frying temperature, the level of carcinogens that are in it are 20 times what's recommend, uh, 20 times a daily recommended allowance. So we are constantly poisoning ourselves. My point in all of this is, yes, it's sad that we have, uh, we're losing bacon because it is, has got nitrates in it. But we also have to realize that instead of feeding our kids hot dogs, like we always do, and the kids, grandkids are over, feed them hot dogs, big mistake. Take them off the red meat. Dark chicken meat, believe it or not. Dark turkey meat. Very healthy for you. It has extra hormones. Not the white meat, the dark meat. Extra hormones in there to keep you healthy. Um, take control of your meals. Take control of your meals. Look for the organic. Get the pesticides out of your body. Control what you eat. Learn how to eat. Do use olive oil. It's a good thing. But whatever you do, make sure that you know what's going in your body every day. Thank you.